guys this is once again viewer shukla today we will discuss seismic design including response spectrum analysis and spat stat provetai so we will gonna do response It is a part of the seismic design that we call a response spectrum analysis. Now go to the geometry, run structure wizard, frame models, bay frame. Put a value 20 here, 45 and width 20. Click on apply. Go to the file. Merge model with Stratpro model. Click on yes. OK. Switch off the grids. This is the top view. Plan view and this is the isometric view. So next step is to apply the supports. Select all the bottom nodes, go to the asymmetry, we check the bottom nodes so that the nodes are corrected properly. Assign to selected node, click on assign, click OK. Now I will assign the cross section, go to the general property, define. I will assign the same cross section to B and columns. Click on assign to you simply. Now we will apply the loads and definitions. So I will go to the journal load and definition. Before going to the load kit detail, details, we have to apply a definition. Go to the definition seismic definitions click on add go to the type indian is one eight nine three two thousand two 2005 zone value is 0 0.36 rf value is 5 response reduction factor importance factor is 1 rock and soil factor assist is 1 put it to type of structure is 1 damping ratio period in this direction you can calculate manually but and put a value here manually and put a value here and now I will click on add then self fit factor will be 1 now I will go to the member weight loading type will be uniform weight will be 13 Starting distance will be 1, that is the member. From 36 to 195. 271. Then I will go to the 406. 541 Floor weight Y range value will be for the special load. Now I will assign this load.
Sorry, you have to assign this load to beams only. So we will go to the beam parallel to X and beam parallel to Z only to the beams, not to the columns. Member weight is for the beams only. All the definition has been done. Now we will go to the primary load cases under load case detail. Now we will go to the command miscellaneous cutoff mode shape change on default value 6 to 10. Click on OK. Now we will go to the load and definition. This is the seismic definition. Now we'll do the load case detail. Loading type will be seismic. Now click on add. Click on seismic load. Click on add. Self weight. The factor of one click on add y in all three global directions. Now I will go to the member load GS direction. Y direction for GZ direction. Now we'll go to the floor load. Put a value of 3.5 for the range 0 to Change the pressure intensity in the Y range 42 43 to 45. Self will be assigned to you. Member load to the beams parallel to X.
all the load has been applied in the same load you i will apply the response spectrum load also go to the load case detail in the same seismic load response spectra load the code you have to follow that is the indian code is1893 combination method seven types of methods are available well. in this scale i will use complete quadratic combination method cqc which type of uh, soil you want to choose hard soil medium soil or soft soil i will select medium soil for this in uh, spectrum type direction x value i will take as 1 and i'm considering z direction put a value 1 here damping ratio 0 0.05 that is 5 percent consider and then i will simply click on add then at last i will go to the analysis print print all click on add then close now i will go to the analyze run analysis Go to the view output file, click on done. Click on results. The Eisen solution you can see completed frequencies for the load case one. These are the thin mode shape and there is frequency cycles per second and the period it calculated. Modal weight. CQC method we have used. These are the stories in the peak stories here. Response spectrum load. Peak story shear from the base to the 15th story. Model base sections you can see here. Participation factors for all the 10 modes. Time period for loading one comes out to be 0 0.28 second. SA by C G value SA by C SA by G value time period for second loading so this is the way we do response spectrum analysis for the advanced lecture I will upload more tutorials regarding this topic so if you have any queries regarding this particular tutorial please post your queries and comments and please share my channel as soon with many people you can and I will like to solve your query as soon as possible go to the post processing again you can check the mode shape here and different mode shape reactions beams and their graphs stresses Here the dynamic this is a frequency in their period participation in percentage x y z direction elastic type you can see the deflection So this is the example for response spectrum analysis. I hope you have learned a lot and please subscribe my channel and share with your friends who are in need learning on this particular software and more other softwares of civil engineering.
and I will like to solve your queries as soon as possible and please post your comments thank you very much and stay tuned with more upcoming video tutorials of mine